Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Rob from Sam Baker here, and I'm going to run through something real quick with uh, Logic's Drummer and some of the cool features that it has. So let me just go to the scene here. Uh, I'm just going to hit play on uh, on the track with possibly the uh, the original kind of drums that are with the song, which is nothing wrong with them really, but this is just a good a good example. And the reason why I kind of brought this up, one, it's a you know it's a cool song. I didn't overplay it when it came out, um, but it's got some interesting kick patterns, and they're not quite quantized, as you can see here. Uh, they're a little bit ahead of the beat, a little bit swung. So when I kind of try and layer drums over the top of that, not that I necessarily want to layer drums, but as an example, you may want to layer something over the top of it. Um, the kick drums are, are kind of flaming and clashing because there's a certain swing to it. So you know, I'm just going to basically hit play now on Logic's Drummer. Uh, and then with Logic's Drummer, you get this all these features down here where you can change and alter the, the drums and the patterns and stuff. So I'm just going to hit play and show you what it does. hi-hat patterns, fills, that kind of thing. So let's just go to around here somewhere. And if I were to basically play that at the top of the existing drums, those kick drums are like flaming a little bit and they're not lining up, the patterns are different. But a really cool feature with Logic is you can go here onto this drummer, just click back, click. There it is, and you hit follow, and then you basically ask it to follow a particular track. So this stage, I'm gonna uh, I've separated the kick tracks on this kit, I put them down here. It's called kicks, and I'm getting it to follow it. Um, if it doesn't quite follow, then you may just need to swing it to sixteens. But And then, you know, that's kind of lining up a lot better now. And we can also just process it a little bit differently, the second loop. If we wish. Uh, another thing that I've also done here, as an example, is I've brought in like a, just an ultra beat loop. Different, totally different vibe. And again, those patterns, those kick drum patterns and everything are quite different. If I were just to play those together, let me just take that compression off. There's two drum kits to doing two different things. Which is kind of cool, maybe you want that. But sometimes you may want the kick drums to line up. So what we can do is we'll get we'll choose drum and bass kit, which is the one there. And if you could just if you just have another quick look at how that yellow layer at the top changed. Kick drums from the original track kick drums from the drum and bass kit. As you can see, they're all moving around. So we're getting to follow that now, and I'm gonna hit play. And even if we were to maybe make it a little more complex, lots more hats. Those kick drum patterns are still lining up. Anyway, it's a cool little feature, and um, I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Uh, if you like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and um, have fun making music. Until next time, cheers.